Hello, and welcome to Test Complete. In this video, we will continue learning how to resolve the unable to find the object error. If you have not seen the first two videos, we recommend that you watch them before continuing watching this one. These videos show how to resolve the error caused by object name change and changes in the application hierarchy. Now, let's proceed with one more typical cause. In this video, we will show you how to fix an error caused by a delay in the application showing the object. We will continue working with the web store project that tests an online store application. Look at this test log. The test has failed because it was not able to find this object. First, let's examine the test log to check if there are any errors or warnings preceding the unable to find the object error. Usually, the very first error in the test log corresponds to the problematic test command, and further errors are caused by the first error. There are no preceding errors in this case, so we can investigate the error. Double-click the error message to see the script line where the error occurred. The panel page object was missing. If we return to the log, we'll see that the page was empty. So the object did not exist. Let's find out why this happened. The tested application must be running and must be in the same state as it was when the error occurred. As usual, set a breakpoint on the problematic test line and rerun the test until it reaches the breakpoint. And we're stopping the test and examining the application. We can see that all needed content is there on the tested page. Most likely, initially, the error occurred because it had taken too long for the page to load. To fix it, we will make our test wait for the page to load its contents completely. There are several ways to do that. For example, we can increase the auto wait timeout. Before simulating a click or a key press, Test Complete waits for the tested object to become available. By default, it waits for 10 seconds. We can increase this timeout so that Test Complete will wait longer. In this case, let's do that in a different way. We will add instructions to the test to wait for the page to load completely. To do it, call the wait method on the tested page. It will pause the test run until the page is fully loaded. Remove the breakpoint and close the application. Then rerun the test. This time, the page has been loaded completely, so the error is fixed. Before we finish, we would like to highlight the major key points of fixing the unable to find the object error. Examine images posted to the test log during the run to learn your application state when the error occurred and check if that needed object was present in the application. When troubleshooting the error, have your tested application running and in the same state as when the error occurred. This covers the typical causes of the unable to find the object error. Let us remind you that this is the third video on the topic. If you have not seen the first or second video, please do so. Thank you for watching. To learn more, please take advantage of our documentation, videos, and online community at smartbear.com forward slash support.